Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Rushers. We are going to take a look at the multiplayer dungeon editor and uh, the multiplayer bit of this game in this episode because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious to know what it's all about. I haven't really taken a look at it. We've been kind of focused on the campaign. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the multiplayer stuff. Uh, so yeah, welcome to the multiplayer dungeon editor. Only a part of the edition tools is at your disposal. Okay. Uh, while all of them are available in the free dungeon editor. So there's a separate editor for this, from my understanding of that. Oh god. And uh, W goes down, S goes up. That I'm not I'm not a fan of the reverse controls there. Uh, but okay. Goblin Mountains, so you, we can check out... Impossible, you have to enhance your art of, our architect office before. Okay. Interesting. Drag a monster into a slot to add it to the fight. Okay. Can we just repeatedly do this indefinitely if we wanted to then? Like, say we wanted a full setup like that. Okay, so that's like that. Um. Then we'll. I don't know. I guess I'll go like that. Can we move this by chance? And like remove this room? Okay, so we could remove the room. And we can have additional rooms here. We can even Combine them, it looks like. Okay. Uh, is it possible for us to have a room that's a dead end? Doesn't seem that way. And what is this? Okay, in the top left we have 13 of 20 rooms. Wait, 23 out of 20? I'm a little confused about this. Okay. Could put the treasure there. I don't know what these other three things are, but we can't use them. Uh, we have 13 out of 25 enemies in place, though. Oh, these guys each cost a certain amount of... Th okay, okay, so they have a threat level. And that is what we're getting to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that group, and we are going to put some guys here, why not? Uh, let's put him in here. A couple of those guys in him. Okay, so that puts us over the threat. Okay, so existing path between the entrance and treasure. Treasure. We've passed that. No hallway error. We've passed that. Only one boss. I don't know what that means exactly. And we failed the respecting limits because we went over on that. Okay. Uh, if we get rid of those guys, we are 25 out of 25 of the threat. Uh, we only have... We have two traps left. Okay, so that's what this is, uh, this is about. Wait, are we still not respecting uh, limits? Dungeon successfully saved. Ah, but it didn't check off the respecting limits bit. Go through that again. No, it still doesn't check it off. That's weird. Uh, we can apparently test it, though. With our own party, we, we essentially go through our own dungeon fighter selves, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. Um, this is a bit weird. Let's go ahead and get rid of that guy, sure, why not? <laughs> Call crossbowman. Do his frenzy bit. 
could try the mutinous, I guess. See how that goes. So yeah, this is uh, th this is interesting. We are fighting ourselves, which I didn't think was be actually possible, but uh, apparently it is. Um, let's go ahead and kill him off. Uh, those two are gonna get a turn before we are able to do anything, but uh, so be it. This is meant to be a pretty hard fight, after all. I didn't really start off with this for no apparent reason. Uh, I wonder if there's ways to get more... Uh, more, like, threat available for our dungeon? Like, can we expand our dungeon in threat and whatnot? Uh, these traps are not too difficult. Definitely use up a lot of stamina, though. Uh, we are going to have him go first, just to take the damage. Okay. And we have one last fight here before we can actually get to the treasure and a, a split there, so that's interesting. So yeah, it looks like my group was able to go through here just fine. Um, that said, I don't really know if there's like a way for us to make it harder, outside of maybe just a bunch of uh, one threat skeletons. Yeah, because then here we are. Hmm. Okay, so that's what the test means. That's interesting. So, we, we are going to make sure this saved. Oh, hey, I actually checked off the uh, respecting limits. Uh, do we want to leave the dungeon? Yes, I do. Free mode dungeons. Can we delete that and delete that? So, what? how, how do we... Blueprints, arena mode reward. Arena mode, what? I, what? Okay. Fremo Dungeons. What does that mean exactly? So, this is not... I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, honestly, what those mean. Multiplayer Dungeons is a bit weird. Um, there was this arena, this is arena thing. It's another part of the multiplayer aspect. No one tried to plunder you and plunders. Let, let, let's attempt to look for a match, shall we? Looking for an opponent? Okay. So we are in someone else's dungeon, it seems like. Trying to, I guess, win against their defenses. Which, so far, that was really, really easy. Uh, we got some gold out of it. Okay, this is just the default setup. Uh, blueprints found, 10. Okay, uh, let's look for an opponent again, I guess. I don't know if those blueprints are just given to us for free. Uh, or like if they've gotten them and like we took them from them, or what? Uh, let's go ahead and dispel that. So we're giving a branch off here to begin with, and it seems like this is the way to actually go. Just based on the fact that there are so many things here. Of course, this could be a, a, a very, very big uh, lie, right? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna try to poison you. Oh, it worked. Get some spinning going on, why not? And, of course, he ended up healing up. Um, I'm going to take out one of these guys completely. Because those guys get to go up next. I'd rather they didn't. Take out him. Wow. That crate was not necessary at all. Um, 
Let's see. Focus on taking out. Nope. Oh, that crit was unexpected. Uh, we'll take out him. Got a healing up. Take out that skeleton, and then he should be fairly easy to kill off. Alrighty, so we got through pretty much. Actually, I would say not unscathed, pretty much, but, uh. Ellen took quite a bit of damage here. Um. Sure. Why not? We'll go in. That lullaby. Okay, you're dead. Um. You're dead. You're the one that did not go, though. That's weird. Okay. Wow. Um, Pod's not doing too hot right now. Pod is almost dead, actually. Okay, here's a question. Can I actually use potions while in here? Like a healing potion? No potions allowed in this mode. Aha, I see. So that's where the difficulty comes in. And that was indeed the right way. So we just went to... Through two players' dungeons and got 20 blueprints. Does that allow us to do anything here? Uh, higher, better engineers place more traps. Traps will be able to place three. Okay, so we have 20. So we should be able to do architect office or bestiary. How do I... Do I have to create a dungeon in order to modify it? Or like, do, do I have to create one to... Why, why are there two? How do I... How do I upgrade? From my understanding, it costs 20 blueprints according to that icon, and we have 20, right? Or am I missing something here? Do I have to do it from this menu? Like, uh, if we have... That. We save. Now, we didn't respect the limits, but we can't... Exactly... Increase them either? I'm a little confused on that. Let's head back to the arena. And see if we can't get uh, maybe 10 more. Maybe maybe there's a visual bug there with those being marked as 20, but uh, they're, they're actually costing 30, because that first one costs 30. Three-way split, huh? That's interesting. Wait. An event? You can get events in your dungeons. That's interesting. Oh my god. Um, Gorgrim, go ahead and go first. You are the tank, after all. A lot of empty rooms. That setup, we, we've seen before. This guy in the front, uh, and those guys on the side. You're going to kill off at least two of these guys here. Smack with a hammer. The only reason I attacked the crossbow man is because this guy ended up getting stunned by the uh, hammer attack from Thorgrim. Where on earth is this taking me? Uh, I suppose the uh, person that made the dungeon would know, but. Uh, I'm a little confused on where on earth this is taking me. Hmm, damn. Um. Let's go for the uh, vampiric ability, shall we? I'd actually like to kill off someone here. 
that way they aren't able to do anything. And, you know, minimal damage. Minimal damage is always a good thing. Oh, wow. Uh, these crits are very, very random and unexpected. Okay, I'm gonna kill you off just so you can't heal. Uh, and then I'm gonna kill you off, because you just got resurrected annoyingly. Wow, still not dead. Come on. There we go. So we are getting loot and gold from this, huh? Gold earned zero, blueprints found ten. No, no we're not? Or maybe we're not getting gold for actually completing that. Oh wait, we have 964 gold. What? Okay, so off to the work site. Uh, no structure gonna have a higher level than your dungeon's heart. Oh, do we have to we have to increase that before we're gonna increase these, huh? Maybe that's why it was locked off for us, even though we had the twenty. Yeah, no structure can have a higher level than your dungeon's heart. That makes sense, actually. Uh, let's head back into the arena. So our rank is Bronze League rank seven. Let's let's look for a match again, shall we? See if we can't get more of these blueprints and uh, possibly twenty. Hopefully, I would like. Uh, let's go ahead and disable the trap. And this one as well. Sure. Regeneration life. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. It's not a bad, bad uh, event. Uh, Thorgrim, go ahead and go first. Even though I didn't, really don't want you to take the bleeding damage, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, work with it, I guess, as best as possible. Alrighty. Let's kill you off, just because I can't access the crossbowmen yet. He annoyingly shot Pod. What's with the crossbow men hating Pod so much in this game? Three Bone Riders and three Necromancers. Well, that you can definitely tell was a player based setup. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna focus on getting you dead. That way we have a way in to kill off one of their healers. Um, we are actually going to do the protection. How we get some of this uh, damage that we've been taking here? Um, that'll guarantee kill you. I'll take it. Okay, so that's one of their healers dead, and uh, one of the riders dead, which is good news for us. Slowly but surely, we're making progress here. Um, let's go ahead and use the vampiric ability, because this may not be the last fight that we have to worry about. Okay, it didn't kill, that's fine. Well, we lost Melinda. Uh, oh, speaking of, of Melinda, by the way, we ended up getting a, um, an achievement when I logged into the game today. I don't know if it was an achievement they ended up adding at some point uh, since I last played in now, or if it was just delayed. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, ended up getting an achievement for defeating Melinda, uh, which is interesting. Uh, let's quickly look for one more match, see if we can't find someone... Uh, and get some more blueprints and then possibly see about upgrading something else. Uh, assuming there's not something else I'm missing anyway. Um, sure, I'll take it. And you are dead now. That was, that was a really, really fast fight. 
Next up, we have annoying number one. Uh, oh, 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 can't. Damn it. Oh well, fine. You are going to. Of course you did. I hate you for that. I'm gonna kill him off of one again anyway, just, just because I can. Not because it was a smart idea to do, because I could have killed him off and then not have to worry about the archer, because the other two would have been taking care of him, but, uh, you, you know. A lot of fighting going on. Uh, Thorgrim, can you see him? You can. Good. That was... This has been so far pretty, pretty flawless. Of fighting going on. Oh crap, so many enemies though. Yeah, th this is what I was wondering about with the, uh, like, just massive enemy spam. It doesn't seem to be very uh, useful to do it, because while they may get a bit of damage off here and there, they just usually end up dying before any real damage can actually happen with them. Alrighty, moving on. Um, yeesh. Why not? We'll use a lullaby on that, because uh, this might be one of the last fights for this particular dungeon. Maybe we got some traps afterwards, but uh, we'll see. I'll pull you off just because I can. Uh, and maybe you... Damn. I tried. Alright, now I'm going to kill you off. Everyone else is asleep, I think, aren't they? Oh wait, maybe you're not. Yeah, I... Oh. Pod's on fire. Of course Pod's on fire. Why wouldn't Pod be on fire? Oh, we have another fight afterwards, huh? Uh, um... Why not? Lullaby again. What, what, what is the name of that ability? I really should look. One heal per hit, four turn... Doesn't tell me. That's unfortunate, but fine. Waking up. Waking up. And waking up. Uh, I am going to kill you off. Just because I did wake you up by attacking, the other two will have to wake up. And... Now we should be better off, I hope. I was hoping for a crit there, but uh, unfortunately not. Pod is in some dire shape right now. Alright, I can smack one of them. Cannot smack them with the whirlwind. Because you're still alive. I, I can't imagine there's going to be many more um it still thinks Melinda's alive yeah I really do want to leave the dungeon unfortunately okay so it still thought Melinda was alive that's weird Oh, and we actually do gain the gold and items from that, apparently. Uh, but yeah, maybe we just don't get any gold for the end chest. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Uh, so, that that is more or less a multiplayer. That's interesting. Uh, I am definitely more interested in the campaign at the moment, anyway. Though, so... Uh, yeah, we'll have to call it here for an episode for Dungeon Rushers. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and thanks for watching.
Until next time, though, as always, take it easy.